Hello, welcome to day 27 of Vlogmas. We are in the final stretch here, like real final stretch. And um, last night I spent like eight hours trying to get Canberra to ask to leave. She did not. So I guess that's the continued goal for today. Um, Poppy's here, she's so cute. We did that yesterday too, right? I <laughs> Truly, yesterday felt like four days. So I did a bunch of like little things off camera yesterday. So since I like, I picked up all of the like storage shed and DIY bench stuff that was here, um, I thought maybe I'd try another truck, but I don't really have another design. Um, so I thought maybe I could do the candy canes and have it be like candy, but it's not really reading like food truck. It's sort of like get your candy from a truck, which not really the vibe we're going for here. So um, let me just revisit the designs. Like there's some one I could delete that I'm not using and we could do another food truck. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I ended up using this. So maybe we could delete that. Yeah, I could do that. Let's see what we've got as far as food trucks goes. Food trucks go and see if we can't maybe switch it out. The other idea I had was maybe having like a, I could just have another spot for like bags and carts and stuff, but also I was kind of thinking like a coat check, like have a coat rack or something, but it doesn't really make sense in an outdoor market because obviously you'd probably want to keep your coat on. <laughs> so maybe not that, but I don't know, maybe something else makes sense there and we don't have to do another truck. If I don't find a, a good design that I like, we'll, oh dang it, we'll figure something else out. So I'm using these two, right? So this is like ice cream. I could do that and it kind of, the truck's already blue, so that works. And it's sort of the same style as the other two I have. I think these are the two I have, right? And this little cinnamon roll sign I got kind of works for that too, even though there's a coffee cup on it. Cinnamon roll kind of looks like an ice cream cone. And then this looks like pizza. Oh wait, this is the one I have and this one. So I guess this matches too, which I think is pizza. They're pretty similar. I mean, would you get ice cream in the middle of winter? I definitely do. <laughs> Let's do ice cream and we'll find out shortly if I did actually use that design anywhere. <laughs> so Lisa gave me a ton of customization kits and Michelle came through with a bunch of NMD. So hopefully we are gonna find Gabby. We've got to. And we can grab, let's say, should we do a cone? Melon cheesecake, orange mint. That's a terrible combination. We'll go with the little cake cones because they sit on the table a little bit uh, better. <laughs> that was float out of the ether. Okay. I mean, yeah, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Okay, so task at hand hmm what is it <laughs> so i basically like dug up every flower that wasn't a windflower so this is empty now i don't know if i want to put windflowers here or if maybe i should do something different for this little section or just leave it like this with a little bit of snow peeking through okay let's see if we can find somebody thinking about moving I was playing for so long, I took away this castle wall and put a little ladder kit there so that I could get to the plaza quicker. Um, and so that will probably stay that way until the island is done. Um, I don't remember what I like recapped last night when I came back after like trying for five hours, but some little things I did off camera. Um, I think I, I think we did this on camera yesterday, but I put a little signpost back there. I think that looks cute. And, um, I just added a little bit more to some of the yards, so mostly gift piles, some delivered gifts, um, a little bit of pathing, oh, got a snowball, um, some more, you know, Christmassy stuff. Oh yeah, and I put trees all along the edge of the neighborhood just to give it a little bit of like a, a border, which I like. That does leave us with all of this open space for like one last build. Definitely not sure what I'm gonna do here yet. I was thinking maybe, maybe I could do some waterscaping and actually have like a little bit of water heading to the river mouth. Um, maybe even a waterfall. I don't know, don't hold me to it. 
Um, so that's an option. We could do another little pond, but like kind of a big pond, which would be cute. Okay, I don't know what I was saying because I got interrupted, but um, not much has changed. Other than that, I just kind of, I feel like filled in and also made like the barriers around the neighborhood a little bit more apparent. Kind of filled in the back like foresty area with some flowers. I need to go get those yellow and purple ones out of there, but you know, that's pretty much it. Also, one other thing is that I realized I had only used Papa, Mama, and Baby Bears, and I forgot about the giant teddy bear DIY. So, um, he's back here. <laughs> but it's so huge, like I couldn't really fit that many. So he's there, and then <laughs> there's another big boy back here. <laughs> oh, Red's here. Let's see if he's got anything good, even though the only good thing could be him. Maybe I could pay him to make Canberra leave. Just drag her away on your ship in the night. <laughs> I feel like you always have to buy something just so that he doesn't get mad at you. And I like that statue. I feel like it's good to decorate with. Maybe not on this island, but you know. <laughs> I also love these. I would say this is the prettiest color customization of it too, but there's a purple one that's also really nice. But maybe I could, um, do the like swan variation and put them somewhere that could be nice do seven so seven swans of swimming somewhere <laughs> just a thought okay so i don't know where canberra is but she's not at home and she's not outside her home she's not in the plaza she's probably in the museum which is just it's unacceptable <laughs> can't be enjoying the museum for permanent rainbow fish residents only. <laughs> Just flying blind back here. So, I don't want to hinge all of today's video on getting Canberra to leave because I simply don't have the patience to just like time travel looking for someone to move. It, <laughs> it takes it out of me. Um, so it would be good to figure out what we're doing here and do that. <laughs> and then, um, maybe do like a couple days trying to get her out. I do like the idea of a big pond because I think it would be nice to have a little pond in front of the tree farm. Let's see how big we could do one. I'm trying to think of the logistics of a waterfall here. I just kind of don't want a waterfall. I just can't take the noise. That's a little less boxy. I like that. Um, I feel like we need a tree on the other side. And maybe some bushes, flowers. I was thinking about the waterfall again, but I don't wanna do it. No trees. Okay, got some stuff. So what looks like it might be like bird feed? <laughs> because I got the stacked bags. I thought like maybe that could work. Like somebody's been feeding the ducks. I wish you could put things at an angle. I wish that so much. Right about now. Okay, and I made some decayed trees, which I didn't even realize I had that DIY. But I thought maybe I could put them in here. Just add a little something or I think that decayed tree looks kind of cute on across the river like that um and then I think maybe I will switch out one of the trees back here for a decayed tree I don't know I kind of like all those trees placed there <laughs> obviously because I put them there the first time let's just steal this one for right now we'll return it we'll replace it I mean okay how does that look I think that looks good. Oh, hi, Eric. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Maybe put another decayed tree just right here. Since I made two. Perfect. And maybe a little flower here. I think that's cute. Watch as soon as I turn this off, I'm gonna be like, I just need to adjust the water just a little bit. 
So does this look like somebody was shopping or does this look like somebody just littered? <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. When the bush grows in, I feel like it'll look a little bit better. You can still get through there easily. Cute, I like that. Now, do I think we need a little path through here? Maybe just some little stones? It's not perfect, but I think it's the best it's gonna get. Okay, so just a little stone path that kinda takes you through to the tree farm. I think that's good, I like that, okay. And it'll look better when the bushes grow in. Cute. I like it. Look at Marshall already using the little path. Okay, so is anybody thinking about moving here? Where's Canberra? What's she doing? Why isn't she asking to move? <sighs> My God, Poppy doing her little lunges. So cute. It's unreal how cute that is. Oh, it's Clay. Look at him down here thinking. Oh, why is lonesome? All right, Clay. Well, hate to break it to you, but you're not going anywhere. I need some type of like food item to put here, I think. Um, where's my nearest storage shed? Oh, this is another thing I did. I put pathing under the rope partitions, and I think it makes a big difference. I think it looks a lot better, a little bit more polished. Oh, maybe they have a little cassette player or radio they're jamming to and something to eat or drink that should do it cute okay um that's good did we just finish the island hmm. <laughs> hold on <laughs> Um, is everything done except for Gabby being here? I kind of think yes. Right? Like, I think there's a couple things here and there that I am, like, meaning to customize in a different color. But other than that, <gasps> I think the island's done. And three days to spare. But not really, because we had to find Gabby. Dang, you know what I just realized? There was a campsite villager yesterday. What if it was Gabby? All right, first things first, is Canberra in her home? No, that's a good sign. <laughs> Second thing, se oh my God, these freaking purple mums. I forgot to put custom designs down and they're back already. They're unstoppable. I guess I'll put custom designs down here, even though I kind of want some to grow in. Okay, we need to just get some red mums. Anyway, um, okay, Canberra. Oh, Clay using a little fishing spot. <gasps> oh, snap. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> oh, go, spread those wings, get them out of here. Yeah, I'll pass. Um, okay, well, let me tell Jimmy because he wants her back for some reason. <laughs> um, just in case. And then, let's see, probably shouldn't go forward yet. I'm trying to think of like when I'm gonna have the biggest chunk of time to devote to this because I need to not time travel until then. <laughs> okay, so I don't know, let's see. I guess we did accomplish some stuff. We, well, I guess we kind of finished the island, didn't we? <laughs> where's the ladder, where's the ladder? Come on, where's the ladder? Hello? Here it is. <laughs> okay, so I guess we, uh, um, Finish the last big build. I still think there's like, you know, little bits and pieces. Of course, there's always gonna be little bits and pieces uh, to do, but that's gonna do it for day 27. So thank you so much for watching. This has been day 27 of Vlogmas. So there are 26 other episodes up now if you'd like to catch up. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a like. If you wanna see more from me, you can subscribe. And if you wanna keep up with me elsewhere on the internet, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Pocket of Fish. And I'll see you tomorrow.